Hello and welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Onderhaar. Joining us on today's episode, Blake Parrish, VP of Product Management over at Telestream. Welcome, Blake. Thanks, Steve. Glad to be here. Well, we're excited to have you. We have the, the NAB trade show in Las Vegas just a little more than a month in our rearview mirror. Now, everybody at the show is talking about the advance of cloud uh, options for producing video and, and uh, creating content. And uh, Telestream certainly was in the middle of all that conversation. Uh, tell us a little bit about your NAB show and some of the products you released uh, or told the world about back, in, uh, back at the NAB trade show. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, it was a fantastic show, uh, a lot of traffic and a lot of great conversations. So thank you to everyone that stopped by the booth. So what we were showing at NAB and what we're building right now uh, is this new cloud platform that I'm going to give a little background on to start. So the reason that we're taking this initiative is we've got a really large product suite here at Telestream. Uh, a lot of discrete products, they, they operate primarily in silos. Uh, they've got varying deployment models. Um, they're not very tightly integrated. People don't even know what we sell. Uh, so we're trying to fix all of that. We're trying to make our products work better together. The real mission here is to build a platform that's going to host all the Telestream products. Uh, we are going to be building tighter integrations between all these products. Uh, we are redesigning all these products from the ground up as we do this. So we've got a new UX team. Uh, we've been conducting user interviews for all of our applications to figure out how to make them better, how to improve our interfaces. Uh, and we're also taking the opportunity to add new features. Uh, we can talk about some specifics later, but there's a lot of new capabilities that I think folks will be interested in. Um, and I think the last key characteristic here is that all of this is going to be truly cloud native. So this platform is going to run in the cloud. It can be fully hosted by Telestream uh, or clients can run workers in their VPC, whatever fits their needs, uh, which is a really, really big uh area of growth for us at Telstream. I think it's going to be great for the industry. I think folks have been looking for a solution like this for a while. So we're going to be adding all of our applications to this platform. That's a long-term goal. Uh, what we showed at NAB and what we're going to be delivering this year uh, is actually only three applications. Live Capture, uh, Vantage, and Glim all running and rewritten in truly cloud-native architecture. Uh, we picked these three to start with because they can work together to solve a really discrete remote production use case uh, that I think there's a very strong market need for. Uh, but we got great feedback in the show. It was a ton of fun to show them. Uh, and I'm really excited to bring this to market. So you're making great progress on the cloud front. Uh, what are customers saying, though, when you unveil all these uh, nifty hosted solutions that you're bringing to, to the marketplace? Yeah, um, there was a pretty clear message at NAB around cloud versus on-prem versus hybrid. Uh, and I, we've been hearing this for a while. It, it, uh, it, it's been, been going since long before NAB. Really, the message that we're receiving is, uh, while people are aligned that cloud is the future here, there's been a little bit of a pullback from uh, a full dive off the high dive into cloud compute. Uh, I think folks are seeing their public cloud bills climb sometimes. Uh, and they also have a lot of uh, resources sunk into on-prem installations uh, and on-prem equipment. So what we're finding is that the need in the short term is really a hybrid solution. Folks want that bridge to the cloud. They want that transition pathway to get out all of their services running in the cloud. So our long-term vision for this uh, platform is really to fulfill that need. We want this to run both in the cloud and on-prem and have that hybrid connection layer between it so that you can orchestrate your jobs wherever they should be run based on uh, costs, based on uh, queue times, based on where the content is. So the timeline for that is uh, next year, uh, hopefully late 2025, early 2026, we're actually gonna be repackaging this entire platform uh, and allowing people to install that on-prem, likely in a Kubernetes cluster, uh, to be fully hybrid. Excellent. So you're making pro progress on the cloud and, and hybrid front, uh, but at the same time, you're beginning to integrate more AI capabilities in your corporate video solutions. Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, so AI obviously is, is a hot topic right now and has been for some time. Uh, 
So we, we started small with AI. I think we, we, we did what uh, a lot of companies did. You can build a chat bot pretty easily now to help folks answer questions, make the user guide more digestible. Um, but I think we're taking AI in some, some really cool directions uh, in terms of how we integrate it into our services. Uh, Vantage is the primary example of this. I think we, we had some really fantastic demos of some new features uh, at NAB. But I'll break this down in kind of two phases. Um, what we want to focus on right now is AI that doesn't involve uh, touching content. I think folks are a little sensitive around that right now. They don't want um, their IP to be uh, worked with by any sort of third party model. Um, and then down the line, we also want to dive into things like computer vision, uh, classification of videos, all that kind of good stuff that I think will flush out our content management offering in this platform. But what we built for NAB and what we're coming out with this year um, is actually a model that we've trained ourselves on Vantage workflows. Uh, it understands what a Vantage workflow is and all the complexities that go into that. Uh, it can do two things. It can look at a workflow and it can tell you exactly what that workflow does which is helpful for uh, sharing workflows between folks. Someone's out sick, uh, you got to cover for someone, you got to troubleshoot their workflow. Um, and then the really exciting feature is we can actually build Vantage workflows from scratch now, uh, just through natural language prompts. So you can come in the system, you can type in uh, exactly what, what you want it to do, the formats you want it to transcode to, where you want the content to go to, uh, and you can watch it in real time build that workflow out, which demoed really well. I think folks are really excited about So what can you tell us about the state of corporate video today? Is AI helping to kind of rekindle any interest in the marketplace? Yeah, so we've got plenty of, of clients that are really large corporations that, that don't really specialize in media. Um, so it's a really interesting market because uh, while they are what you would call an enterprise level client, uh, their media volume, their media expertise uh, isn't what you would see at a typical broadcaster, for example. So what we're really doing to try and make these uh, systems more accessible to them uh, is bring it into the SaaS environment where they can come in, they can configure their account, uh, they can sign up by themselves. Uh, and we're using AI to make the process of learning how to use these products easier. Uh, the Vantage workflow generator feature that I talked about, uh, that's going to be a massive time saver for folks that don't have experience with Vantage and need to get started doing something uh, from day one. Just give it a prompt. Uh, it'll do the rest for you. So not only uh, on the corporate video side, but we're also seeing AI having uh, some impact uh, in the world of media workflows. Uh, what's happening on that front? Yeah. Um, so the, yeah, the, the AI power advantage workflow is obviously one example of that. Uh, I can generate workflows. I can uh, ask them to tell me about work, what workflows are doing. Um, but then we also have a couple other products that are leveraging AI. Uh, we have Stanza, which actually is one best in show. Um, it's leveraging AI with a proprietary model for caption generation, uh, much different than what you would get from just whisper speech text. Um, it's truly trained for caption generation, uh, caption segmenting and placement. Uh, so that that's done very well. Uh, we're also coming out with some uh, language recognition capabilities in Qualify, uh, which has been a long asked for feature, which would be helpful. But really, just across the whole portfolio, we're, we're reapproaching how we uh, decide to implement solutions now that we have all these tools at our disposal uh, to build better features. Now, a lot of the platforms out there that we see uh, are already providing some form of automated closed captioning, uh, uh, really converting uh, audio into text uh, in, in some forms. Uh, when we're looking at those types of solutions, uh, how closely should we be examining the concept of the accuracy of the captions that are developed? Yeah. Um, well, captioning is just generally becoming more and more important. Uh, I think that, that that's a huge theme that everyone's aware of. Uh, I watch everything with captions. Uh, but what it really means is we need captions to be accurate. Uh, I think that all the models out there are becoming better at recognizing speech uh, and transcribing that more accurately. What we're really focused on is uh, the layer beyond that, that places captions correctly, times captions correctly, 
uh, and areas we can start looking into, like lip syncing, uh, translation, all of those pieces. Now let's wrap up. Uh, uh, we're, we're looking ahead a little bit. Uh, I understand that you have a little something in the works with, with the folks at NVIDIA. What, what can you tell us about uh, what's come down the pike there? Yeah, we're really, really excited about excited about this. Um, so we just announced this at NAB. Um, I think most folks know NVIDIA is coming out with their new Holoscan platform. Uh, and we're one of the first partners with them uh, where we're actually going to be uh, offering our Inspect 2110 products uh, as part of that platform, which is great because you can get the capabilities that Telstream offers for monitoring along with the all of the great GPU acceleration and all that jazz from NVIDIA. Um, so more to come on that, um, but we're really excited to be part of that program. Uh, it'll be fun to watch and uh, seeing uh, your ongoing advances and combining and integrating uh, your existing video capabilities with that blooming market of AI processing power that really helps us do more with video. Uh, Blake Parrish from Telestream, thanks so much for taking the time and sharing uh, your insight today. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Glad to be here. And that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you'd like access to more Intelligent Video Today interviews, go to the link right below there to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to Intelligent Video Today to get notifications of future interviews with thought leaders like Telestream's Blake Parrish. For Intelligent Research and Intelligent Video Today, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.